record here and uh, we can edit here so you know here we got a here we have a triangle I wonder how long that side is and so you can talk and write and uh, well, I guess that'd be a P um, talk to students you can uh, depending on how good it is, you can talk and write at the same time uh, you can work problems out and give give tips there okay this is the square root of 18 all right and so uh let's see let's go ahead and simplify that that's the square root of nine square root of two which is three square root of two all right and there we go so you can do that now another thing you can do here is there's this tool sometimes writing on an ipad is tricky like that three square root of two is a little sloppy so maybe i'll erase that and uh, um, down here, you know, I, again, you can see this on the screencast video, but the students won't see this. There's this little zoom, and it's the, in fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause this video right here. And so now I'm going Ninja View, and I'm going to zoom in, but uh, on the Explain Everything video, uh, students won't see this. And I'm going to write three. Maybe I'll want this a little thicker, because when I zoom out, it might show up. 3 square root of 2. There we go. Now it's a little nicer, a little neater. Now if I hit this reset button down here, that sends it back to the zoom. That's what everyone saw. And so it wrote it real tiny like here, even though I zoomed in and wrote. So, so a handy way to do that. Okay. Um, another tool that might be useful is this. Okay. So here's another problem I want to do. And so sometimes videos can get a little bit long, like you might be falling asleep right now. I don't know. So sometimes videos might get a little long. So uh, um, uh, one useful thing to do is to stop the video. So we say, okay, right. Okay. So I'm going to try this one. And so I got to use my Pythagorean theorem. Now I'm going to hit stop. And there is the Pythagorean theorem that we would use. Now, if we solve this like we did last time, all right, so we get the square root of 50 there. Worked it out there the same kind of way. We've done this lots of times. And uh, now we just got to simplify this. So we're looking for a perfect square that goes into the square root of 50. Let's do that. So I can break it up. Ah, the square root of 25, that goes into it. Okay, so the square root of 25, we know. Okay, and there we've got 5 square root of 2. So this is 5 square root of 2. Okay, and so... Uh, now, we notice, oh, is there a connection? Interesting. What's going on here? We've got 3 squared of 2, 5 squared of 2. Well, that's that. our video for today. We're going to stop it there.